endowments spending is typically calculated as a percentage of endowment market value i hope all of you are clear that at least in the us context large universities have endowment so large operating entities will have an endowment that helps cover some of the expenses of that entity normally the spending is between 4 and 6% of the assets in the us and to determine the exact amount of spending every endowment will have a particular rule or some sort of a spending rule that it follows you need to know the three most commonly used rules the first one is this simple spending rule and what the simple spending rule simply says is that you have a certain percentage let's say that your spending rate is 6% and you are trying to figure out your spending for 2012 the simple spending rule given that you want to spend 6% of assets this would be 6% multiplied by the market value of the assets at the end of 2011 very simple a given percent of the market value why do i say 2011 here because this means end of 2011 which is the start of 2012 a slightly more sophisticated version is a rolling 3 year average because asset values might be volatile so rather than let's say that this is the start of 2011 given that at the start of 2011 maybe the markets are overvalued if you use that market value then your spending number might be high how do you deal with that take your average over the last 3 years this is called a rolling 3 year average so how do you do this here you say that you take 6% off and then you take the average of the last 3 year market values so then you can have 1/3 of the market value for 2011 plus 1/3 of the market value of end of 2010 plus 1/3 of the market value of for the end of 2009 so you've taken a rolling 3 year average for the for 3 years this is the second one the third one which i think is the most testable is the geometric smoothing rule where you use the weighted average of prior year spending adjusted for inflation and a spending rate times the market value at the start of the prior year i'm going to give you a brief explanation here and then you need to solve the problem on the next page let's say that you have a geometric smoothing rule where essentially you do the following you take a average a weighted average of the prior year spending adjusted for inflation how do you do this let's say that in the prior year your spending was 10 and let's say inflation is 5% for simplicity again let's say that we are doing spending for 2012 this means that if i tell you that in 2011 the spending was 10 how do i adjust this for inflation let's say inflation is 4% i multiply this by 1.04 this is the prior year spending of 10 adjusted for inflation that means that if i have the same level of spending in nominal terms for 2012 i adjust this for inflation i'll have 10.4 million i need to take the average the weighted average of this and the spending rate multiplied by the market value at the start of the prior year and i'll tell you why start of the prior year in a minute let's say our spending rate is 6% then i'll have 0.06 for 6% multiplied by let's say that my market value at the start of previous year was 50 million so i multiply by 50 million if i'm doing the spending for 2012 what does the market value at the start of the previous year mean this means the market value for what year start of what year 2011 why do you think 
we are taking the start of 2011 given that we are finding the spending for 2012. The point is, when do you think you are planning for 2012? Are you planning for 2012 in 2011 or 2012? You are obviously planning in 2011. And if you are dealing with a large organization, you might be doing this planning in the middle of 2011. So if you are in June 2011, do you know what the market value will be at the end of 2011? No. So a logical thing then to do would be to use the market value at the start of 2011. Doing this calculation in June 2011 and you are calculating the spending for the year 2012. And in this scenario, what is suggested is that you use the market value at the start of 2011 because that's the most recent formal number that you have. And let's say that number is 50 million. These are the two numbers. And then you need to do a weighted average. The question will tell you what weights to use. If you are told that the weight for this is 60%, and the weight for this is 40%, then you do this and then simply add these two numbers and that will give you the weighted average and that essentially is your planned spending for 2012. Now do this question. This is an excerpt from example 13 where I've just pulled out the relevant data and added some data for you to be able to do the calculation. So I want you to calculate the target spending amount for 2012. The correct answer here should be 1.126 and let me do this for you. Remember there are two parts to this calculation. In one part you look at 2011 spending and increase it based on the inflation rate. What's the 2011 spending? That's 1 million. Inflation is 3%, so you multiply it by 1.03. The other part says that you have a spending rate of 4.5%. This needs to be multiplied with the market value at the start of 2011, which is 30 million. Therefore, what you do is 30 million multiplied by 0 0.045. Do you simply add these or you need to take the weighted average? The weighted average and we are given these weightages. 70% of prior year's spending amount. That would be 0 0.7 multiplied by this expression and then 0 0.3 over here you then add these two and you will get 1.126 that is your spending amount based on the calculation and i think this is testable i keep seeing questions where there is at least one part where you need to show some calculation and come up with a number